What's up guys, it's your girl Z and I'm back with another makeup video banger and I'm using today the Posh Culture Color Me 90s eyeshadow palette. Y'all know I've been on this Posh Culture vibes because I've been loving their eyeshadow palettes. Today I'm using their Neon eyeshadow palette. I really do love this palette. I use three colors from this palette. Don't forget to check out Posh Culture. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. I make videos every other Wednesday and every Sunday. We're just going to get into this banger this makeup look i hope you guys enjoy <laughs> let's get into this video Crap! all right guys so the first thing that i'm gonna prep my skin this is the pharmacy daily greens oil free gel moisturizer i love this freaking thing so much too bad i don't even know if they sell it single or like because i think it's only for boxy charm i got this in my boxy charm i love this thing so much i have dry skin and i just love the way how it makes my skin feel so this is a banger for me i love this thing so much i don't even know what i'm gonna do when it's done So we going in with the Posh Culture Color Me 90s eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the color Chill Pill which is a highlighter pink and I'm going to take this on a Morphe fluffy brush and I'm just going to pack this on top of my Peel Away's number zero base. I'm just going to get the shape and after I get the shape done I'm going to blend it out. Brace yourself for singing Aziza in three, two. Catch me when I fall for you. Cause I fall and this is the main reason why I'm not doing a talk through video for this one. I just wanted to jump into some music and make a shorter video to be very honest. Uh, these talk through videos can be very long so I thought why not jump up to some music and do a voiceover. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have everything done blending, I'm going to take some Vaseline on a little tiny tapered brush and I'm just going to mark out where I want my cut crease to begin, to be, to start, to end. And this Vaseline is basically what it's going to do is just help clean up the lid and make it look more precise than putting down the P. Louise base and mixing the colors. We're not trying to mix the colors right now. We're just trying to have a clean lid instead of mixing the colors. So the Vaseline really do help with just, you know, cleaning the lid up, making it nice and sharp and precise. And that's what I'm doing with this little tapered brush. I'm just outlining it and then I'm going to just clean it up. Alright, so I have a Q-tip. I'm just taking off some of the excess cotton swab, cotton pad part of it. And I'm running this in some Vaseline. And I'm just using this to just take off more of the pink eyeshadow color. You don't necessarily have to do this. You can just take a makeup wipe, which I'll take a makeup wipe afterwards to clean up the excess Vaseline that's on my lid. But I just wanted the lines to be a little bit more sharper so that's why I took off so much of the cotton off of the q-tip just to make sure like the lines I have hooded eyes so it's a little bit I have more like you know flabby parts I guess if that makes sense but um I am just trying to make it as you know clean as possible so I'm going in with the makeup wipe taking off the excess you know Vaseline and whatever else that I want to take off for like the base and all that jazz
Okay, so I'm liking how everything is looking. So I'm just going to put back down that P. Louise base where I have that open space on my lid. And this is just preparing for another color to be more of its own instead of being like, you know, mixed with the pink. I wanted the color to be like its own color and not mixed with the pink. Because you know like how sometimes I put the base over the pink color or whatever color I have down. I didn't do that. So I cleaned it up and all that jazz. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just putting on that base in that open space that I have there. Alright, so I'm going in with another Posh Culture eyeshadow palette and this one is in Coconut Milk. I'm just going to place this down on the white eyeshadow base so you're not going to see too much of a difference. I wanted something a bit basic if that makes sense because I didn't want to do too much of the neon colors. I wanted, you know, each color to, you know, stand out on their own. Don't make it too busy on my eyes. And I'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow base and I'm going to just use this base to shape like a cat eye type of winged out you know effect i'm going to use one of the neon colors as an eyeliner but it's really eyeshadow so i'm just placing this base right on top of the white eyeshadow because it is a white base it's white a white eyeshadow so uh i didn't really need to do the cleanup effect with the vaseline or makeup wipes so i just placed that right down on top of it So I'm going back into the Color Me 90s eyeshadow palette and I'm going to go in with Bomb Diggity and I'm just placing this where I put the P. Louise eyeshadow base in that cat eye effect design I did on my eyes. I'm just placing this, packing it on that base with a fluffy brush. So you're going to see me go back in with the pink color and the neon color just to sharpen up the lines a little bit more. And I'm using a more dense, tiny little fluffy brush and I'm just going to go back in to, you know, just do my little touch-ups. I wanted it to be a little bit more pigmented, so that's what I'm just doing right now. Alright, so just using a makeup wipe just to make the out. V <laughs> a little bit more sharper and not so messy um, and also just to make sure that it doesn't blend with my concealer so I'm just cleaning up all that follow and all that jazz and then I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner this one is from L'Oreal and it's in carbon black I really do like this one a lot So I'm going in with the Duo Adhesive Clear Lash Glue and I'm using these glitters that I got off of Amazon. I'm using like a lime green one and I don't even know why I picked up a Q-tip but I guess that's what worked for me. <laughs> and I'm just placing this right on top of the dry down lash glue. Alright, so I like how that's looking. I'm going to use the NYX Glitter Liner and I'm just going to trace the outer part of the white and this is singing Aziz again. Okay, so I'm going to do my next eye and come right back and boom, I'm back. I'm using my lashes from my lash line. This one is a Mamacita. I'm going to be launching this one quite soon but it is a fan favorite every time i wear it and i have one of my friends who wear this all the time 
um, so I'm gonna launch this pretty soon and I'm gonna launch some new ones pretty soon so just wait on it I'm coming I'm coming I know everybody's asking me about my lashes but they're gonna be they're gonna be here soon they're gonna be here soon Going in with the Smolder Eyeliner from MAC. Y'all know that this is one of my favorite ones. I'm just running this on my waterline. Alright, going in with Max Mineralized Blush in Gleeful. I do like this blush. This is one of my favorites. I actually like their mineralized blushes better than their matte ones. I don't know. I just like the... I don't know. It's a hue that they give off. It's... I don't know. I just like them a lot. They're one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm just brushing that off, you know, gotta brush that excess powder off, and then I'm gonna go back in with Shanene, and I'm just gonna run this right underneath my waterline, and I'm also blending that smolder color out as well with the purple. Uh, dancing Aziza. Hey, ooh, ooh, hey. Find yourself. Find yourself, sis. Find yourself. Going in with the most pigmented highlighter I've ever tried. This is the Posh Culture Paradise Glow Loose Highlighter. I love this thing so much. Oh my goodness. I just take my time with it. You know what I'm saying? Just take your time with it because it is mad bright. Mad I like that though. It's good. It's, it's a, a chef's kiss for me. Okay, to line my lips, y'all know my favorite is the Jordana Quick Liner Eyes for Eyes. <laughs> and this is in 09 Coco. I really do like this a lot. If you're here in Grand Cayman, you can get these from the pharmacy in Red Bay. It's one of my favorites. And I buy these like five at a time because they're so good. So I'm just lining my lips, you know, doing my thing. And I'm just gonna fill in the outer parts of my lips with this liner. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see next from me. Like and share this video with a friend. Also, don't forget to check out Posh Culture. I will link all their social media handles down in the description bar below. Tell them Aziza send you because I want to be on their PR list so bad. And also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I make videos every other Wednesday and every Sunday. Stay blessed. Wash your hands. Keep safe. Peace. <laughs>